wave is about to come to an end here in eastern parts of Britain, but it's also across the low countries of Europe. But the fresher air is waiting in the wings here across Ireland, and that will push right the way across the UK by tomorrow morning. So quite a marked drop in temperature in London by tomorrow, Paris too, and after that 32 degrees in parts of Germany today, much fresher there as well by the weekend. But that fresher air will come with a breakdown with thunderstorms, and those thunderstorms certainly are gathering, as you can see, across the Pyrenees up through western France and to the Cherbourg Peninsula. As well as thunderstorms, we've still got a fairly active weather front out to the west. Here's the next pulse of heavy rain gathering here. But one thing for sure, much drier and brighter for Northern Ireland and western Scotland but those heavy pulses of rain will run through western parts of the UK up into eastern parts of Scotland could even be the odd thundery outbreak ahead of them and even though eastern areas look set to stay mostly dry with hazy sunshine even here we couldn't rule out the odd rumble of thunder and it will remain hot for today already up to 30 degrees in places but freshening up much more now in western areas and it'll be a fresher night here. But we'll still have those thunderstorms or thundery rain for many central and eastern parts of England through the night, drier further west and much more comfortable. We really will notice that tonight. But I think it'll still be quite sticky in southern and eastern areas because that rain will still be around tomorrow morning. But thereafter, much drier, much brighter, just a peppering of showers. But the shower cloud will then gather through the afternoon for Northern Ireland and northwest Scotland, some heavier showers. Equally, it'll brighten up further east. And for Friday, it looks like we've got high pressure in charge to end the week, which means a lot of dry and quite sunny weather for most of us, just a peppering of showers. But the uncertainty comes towards this weekend. By the end of the Friday, the first signs of some cloud getting into southern areas ahead of this area of low pressure. And the uncertainty is as to how far north it's going to come this weekend. Now, current thinking takes the rain into southwestern areas early on Saturday, but a fine start elsewhere, and then pushes that rain gradually northwards and eastwards for much of England and Wales as we go through the course of Saturday. So it may be that Northern Ireland and much of Scotland escape with a drier, brighter day. Mind you, we might see some misty low cloud rolling onto the North Sea coast and can't rule out the odd shower. And Sunday, too, a similar picture here. And by that stage, we should start to see that rain starting to clear away from eastern areas. But there is some uncertainty, and we will, of course, keep you posted. But it does look as if it'll get much fresher by tomorrow, a drier end of the week. That uncertainty, though, for the rain for England and Wales. George, 